In this video, we're going to practice um, converting rectangular equations to polar. So, quick refresher for you. Um, to convert from rectangular to polar, that um, rectangular means they've given you the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate of a point. That's all you know. And to convert it to polar, you want to find out the angle, theta, and the radius, r. Okay, so to find theta, we'll use tangent of theta is equal to y over x. And to find, r, um, to find r, we use our buddy Pythagorean theorem. So r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay, so say, for example, they want you to convert the equation um, y equals x squared from, notice this is in rectangular form, and they want you to convert it to polar form. Um, this type of equation is something you've seen since Algebra 1. Um, you know that's a parabola. Um, and so we can check when we're done to see if our polar equation gives you a parabola. Okay, so if you remember... Um, if you remember, sorry, I had to pause a moment. The equations that I wanted weren't actually there. Um, so what we've got here is we've got y is equal to x squared. Well, down here I've got equations that are um, solved for x and y. So what I can say here is that y is equal to r sine theta, and x is equal to r cosine theta. But this is being squared, so this needs to get squared. Um, and our goal is to, um, so here we have r sine theta is equal to r squared cosine theta. Our goal is to solve for r. Um, so let me just rewrite this, r squared cosine theta, cosine squared theta, I am so sorry, that was a mistake, thank you for catching it, um, is equal to r sine theta. Um, what we're going to do often in these well, in rectangular situations, we don't want to lose a variable. Um, that's not quite the same problem when we're in polar, um, which we'll have to talk about at another point. Um, but what I can do is I can divide both sides by, um, I'm going to divide here by, by r cosine squared theta. Okay, leaving me with r is equal to, it was, um, the r is canceled. We had a sine theta over cosine squared theta. Um, our textbook went ahead and said, well, this is 1 over cosine theta times sine over cosine. And remembering your trig, you know this is um, secant theta times tangent of theta. Um, I picked up my calculator, and um, I can't plug in secant, but to... Um, tangent theta divided by cosine, because secant theta is 1 over cosine. And when I did, I found I got this, this lovely little parabola-like thing, but we had, we had found that equation in polar form. For our next example, I wanted to remind you what um, this equation gives you, x squared plus y squared minus 8y. Um, and notice, if I come along here, and complete the square. This gives me x squared plus y minus 4. 4 squared is 16 and 16. Um, I can go ahead and move. This was all, excuse me, this was all factored down to this right here. Um, but then let's move the 16 to the other side. That equals 16. What this gives you is you've got a circle here. Hopefully you remember this from our study of conics, with the center um, 0, 4, and a radius of 4. Um, okay, so we're going to take this equation. We know what it should look like. We know it should look like a circle. We know where it's centered and what its radius is. We're going to convert it to polar and then use our calculator to help us check. Okay, so we've got our handy-dandy little reminders over here as to what equals what. Um, so what I notice here first is that this x squared... Um, plus y squared right here, oops, sorry, that's funny, um, is equal to r squared. So I have r squared minus, um, and then this is 8 times y. Well, our y value is r sine theta equals 0. Um, and so I can say r is equal to, well, r squared is equal to 8 r sine theta. Once again, we want to solve for r 
um, in rectangular, you're losing a variable, you lose solutions, but that's not a problem in polar. And so we have r is equal to 8 sine of theta. And when you pick up your calculator, I just typed in 8 sine theta, and you'll see the lovely graph that I got. And if you notice, in this um, in this circle, this equation, it's centered. It's going up here. Um, to do you see this is, it's going up to eight and it's going down to zero. And the center is at at zero four, just like we expected.